my friends, welcome in. I hope you are having a fantastic day. I am Big Mommy, or you can call me Megan, whatever works for you. Um, we are going to be playing Animal Crossing New Horizons today. I'm really excited. We are trying to make my island Halloween theme. So if you are down to clown with that, thanks for joining me. I'm excited. Um, I hope we can find some cool stuff to put about to our island. And um, if you guys would be so gracious as to follow me on my socials, it helps me spread word to you guys when I have changes in my schedule or I can get some input from you guys about what games I should be playing all kinds of good stuff so if you're willing I would so 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 appreciate it if you could follow me um and also on YouTube I upload all of my VODs so if you guys are ever interested in watching like a previous episode of a game that we played or you're missing some context about something we're playing and you would like to find some usually there's much more context over on YouTube. And I do have my VODs on Twitch, but they disappear after a while. So if you want to see where they're permanently at, head over to my YouTube. Um, anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. We are going to be uh, starting on my island. And as you guys know, before I really kick into it, um, my island hasn't been played for probably like two or three weeks now. So there's probably a weed buildup. And um, I'm sure I have mail in my mailbox and there's a bunch of fossils and stuff. So we're going to go figure out how to handle that. And then we're going to start on spookifying our island. I'm really excited. Um, so let's get into it. I'm so, so, so happy to be playing this game again it's honestly this is one of those games I get sad when I don't um have interest in playing it like I used to so I'm happy that I have some interest in it oh and it's raining that's perfect wonderful wonderful all right so um this is some of the stuff I have already up and that's just kind of like what we were testing out the last time we were playing so we have that going for us which is cute but um yeah let's start picking up some of these weeds because they are a mess and in the way and we don't appreciate that mostly right now we're just going to take care of cleaning up things all right I don't know if this is going to be like the biggest patch that we have or the smallest patch. I'm going to lift up my headphone wire so my cat stops scratching at me. <laughs> she wants to bite it. All right, let's see. Oh, here's another patch. I should also probably check what's actually in my pockets at the moment. Um, if it's Halloween stuff, I might drop it right here because I have this blank slate here. So let's see if I have any Halloween stuff going on. I think some of it is stuff I've purchased um, from the vacation home island that I wanted to keep for this island, but we'll see. Um, leaf campfire. I'll keep that out. Mushroom parasol. Um, spooky candy set. Spooky lantern. Elegant. Okay, spooky lantern set again. Armchair. Yeah, okay. Is this all of our spooky items? Let's see. Drop. Yes, okay, so I'm going to put the rest of this in my storage for the moment because I don't think I really need it out. Um, I'll even put these little weeds away that we just plucked up because we don't necessarily need them yet. All right, and we'll put away those customization kits as well. All right, so let's head off and continue on our journey here. Um, let's dig this up. Okay. Wonder how many fossils we're gonna have to deal with today. I'm not really sure. Okay, so we'll just go in this direction first and then kind of make our way around. That's not that bad so far. Just kidding, it's that bad. I don't know why I said that, I jinxed it. And we do have a, vi a visitor at the campsite today. I haven't checked out who it is yet, so we can go check that out in a little bit and see. Here's my little cactus. I, I don't know what I want to do with this area yet. I might put some bones by it to make it like spooky. I might just leave it how it is. I don't really know yet. So we'll see. Let's um check up by my mom's house. Make sure things are kind of looking clean up here. So far, so good. Not too bad. 
Um, ooh, right here is bad though. I, I know for sure, I, I've talked about this in the past before when I played, I didn't make up this hack for sure, so I'm not trying to take credit for it. I'm not really sure who made it up, but um, I, I randomly remembered it um, one of the times I was playing. Um, if you guys go into your um, your cell phone here, where is it? Um, if you go to the custom designs app and you make a blank um, tile, like this one right here, it's just blank. Um, if you put that somewhere on the ground, it will not grow anything on top of it, let alone weeds. So rocks won't won't form there, um, weeds won't grow there, uh, flowers won't grow there, so you can't plant anything on top of it. But um, I, I've used that hack right here because I used to hate coming over here and clearing weeds out of it. I, I haven't done it on all of my important areas yet, but there are certain areas I've definitely come Covered with it and it's helped a lot so if you're somebody who does not like going around and picking up the weeds from like interesting places on your island or hard places to reach like that's definitely a hack i would recommend to you all right so let's do this oops sometimes if you're not aiming just right at that All right, so this is our little campsite that we haven't finished yet, but we will get on it. I'm not really too worried about it. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I love him. Such a cute guy. Um, let's see who our visitor is, because I actually haven't looked today. Let's find out who we got here. Um, one of the things that I do want to do, I'll try to remember it. Like, I'm just saying, ooh, girly. What's your name? Elise. Your voice is very cute. And you're cute in your own way. Alright. Well, I'm glad. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> She's an interesting character. I don't think I've ever seen her before. Um, but anyway, uh, what I was saying is something that I do every year and that I want to continue to do um, for just because I like it is um, I, I uh, put candy bowls like candy bowls out on all of my villagers houses. So I'm excited to do that again this year. Yeah. Oh, girly. Yeah, you know how it is. Um, all right. And I definitely do um, something that is new for the game. Um, if, if you are like an avid player of this, you kind of have probably already heard of it, but you can alter your villagers houses now, which is relatively new. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I'm hoping I can, I, I may not change like the shape of their houses. I, I don't know if I even can do that. I can't remember because it's been a while since I played it, but um, I'm not gonna alter the shape of their homes, but I am going to alter the colors probably. I don't think I'll change the shape unless I. I find one that I like better, but um, I definitely want to alter the outside of their houses. I don't know if I'll go as far as to do the inside, but we'll see how far we want to delve into like making this a reality. Right now, it's 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 just fine how it is. All right. Oh, there's my boy. Hi. Okay. You're so cute. I adore him. He's honestly, he is one of my favorite characters. I, I I would go as far as to say he probably is my favorite. I don't care if that's basic. He's just, he's a good boy. Oop. Sometimes I'm just a little off with aim on those. All right. And like you guys know, we're going to check everywhere for fossils before we take them over to um, the museum to get them assessed because I hate 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 um getting there and then coming back outside and finding another fossil it's so annoying to me that's like a huge pet peeve so we're not gonna mess around with that concept <laughs> um i want to use these black lilies in the purple um are those they're not mums what are those again I can't remember the name of those flowers with the purple flowers there i want to use those um in some something I wish I had more uh, black roses, but I don't really have that many in my little garden over there. But I'm definitely going to keep that garden out because it is Halloween-y in its own way. So we're going to keep it how it is. Um, 
Okay, anything else over here? Yeah, and for instance, with that um, that uh, see-through tile or clear tile, whatever you want to call it, um, I used it in this area and I've never had any weeds there. So that if that doesn't prove it to you, I don't know what will. I never have to pluck any weeds in this area. Oh, oopsies. There we go. All right. Seems good so far. I should see. I, I always forget that when it's raining, you can catch those coelacanths or coelacanths. I know some people call it that. Coelacanths. Those are very cool fish. I really like them. I'm not a huge fan of fish in real life because they kind of scare me, to be honest. But I do enjoy coelacanths. I like those prehistoric guys. They're very cute. All right, it's looking good so far. We're doing doing good on our little island cleanup. I don't mind some amount of weeds on the island. It like doesn't bother me, but I, I don't like having like it overgrown with weeds because I just think it looks messy on my island. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Like, it, it honestly, it maybe if this covered the whole ground, it would be really cute. Like it would look like flowers almost but I just personally don't want that because I just don't like it but to each their own there's nothing wrong with it all right and then we have our little carnival area um I was gonna say I could save some of these um uh, little weeds for making medicine, but I think I don't have any uh, of the hornet's nests or uh, not hornets, but wasp nests left. So I don't know if I could do that anyway, even if I wanted to. I am thinking of doing a giveaway pretty soon um, of uh, DIYs and stuff that my mom and I have been saving up. Um, I haven't really had that many, obviously, because I haven't been playing for a while, but um, my mom has been saving them up for you guys. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the chat because I would love to be able to give you guys some cool stuff. Hopefully some stuff y'all don't even have yet, so we'll see. All right, so we have some, some uh, fall stuff set up right here. That's nice. It's looking cute. Um, another thing we're gonna do today is we're gonna look in my mom's storage to see if she has any um, uh, Halloween or fall items that we can steal from her because she said she doesn't mind us using some of her stuff. So I'm cool with that if she's cool with it. All right, anywhere else? I used to have um, a fountain out here. I just haven't put it back yet because I'm, I, I consider my island in like remodel mode right now because I just, I'm working on so many things with it. But um, maybe we'll put out like a little creepy well over there. We'll see. I can't think of like something cool to put out there right now. So that might be something good to put at the moment. Sure, let's go visit Megan for a bit. All right, girly. And you guys know that they make you stay for a while, so just strap in for a second, I guess. <laughs> this is a house that I need to redo for sure. She has, has her little Dia, Dia de los Muertos uh, set up here. I love that thing, the little candle and the, um, the pretty orange flowers. Right? <laughs> There's so many houses that I just haven't um, cleaned up and they, they definitely need to clean up. But that's okay. Let's talk to her. Get our visit going. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Absolutely, girl. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I feel like a lot of times they're like, oh, like, do you want to buy anything in here? I do too. I'm the same way. It's it's kind of hard to play it sometimes. If you're like I like I you may have seen in my tags. I'm somebody who definitely has like ADHD. Yeah, me too. I was just gonna say that. I'm like mine. I I, I have ADHD and I, it's very hard to focus sometimes. You saw a chef using it once. Girl, it's just a table setting, but pop off. Um, I don't necessarily want to buy anything from her, but I might buy this just to get it out of her house. 
Anime. I love anime. I've, I've been watching some good ones lately. Yeah, sometimes that's easier to focus on when you're watching something rather than playing something. I can get that. All right. Something did. This. I want it out of your house. Sure. <laughs> oh, that's very cool. Well, what is your manga going to be about? that's really cool that that's always a nice thing to do because it can give you some inspiration on what you're wanting to write that's always fun i was girl thank you you got me a whole fit all right she's so cute yeah, she de she's definitely in need of a cute house because she is so cute herself. All right, so um, we're going to go just do kind of like a double check and make sure that we got all of the stuff off of the island that we need to get off of the island because I don't want to have to keep going around it and picking stuff up if it's not necessary, you know? Um, oh, okay, cool. That sounds very cool. Honestly, I, I bet you that would make for a great story. That's very interesting. Yeah, I, de I, I definitely, I, I like stuff like that. So that would be something I would be interested in. So I'm sure a lot of people would be interested in that. I'm going to just check and make sure that there's no, sometimes weeds grow back here, but not always. Yeah. Okay, cool. Seems good enough for now. All right, so I think I got everything. So we are going to take it over to the museum. Let's see how many fossils. That's actually not as much as I thought it was going to be. Oh, dang. <laughs> you never know with girlfriends. Sometimes they sometimes they're good at paying attention to those things. They're sleeper sleeper hits. <laughs> All right, so let's go over to the museum and submit our items. All right, friends. So um, after we do this, I'm going to probably start. Um, one of the things I wish I, I probably should have got a picture ready to show you guys, but I didn't think about it. Um, there is one thing that I do want to add to my island that my friend Aspen showed me, um, my friend Turk, uh, that you guys see on here sometimes talking Aspen. Um, uh, they showed me this really cool um, thing that somebody else did on their island and they put a spirit Halloween on their island. So I'm wanting to do that. Um, so thank you for that, Aspen. I don't know if you watch the VODs or if you see this, but thank you for that recommendation. I really liked it. So that's one thing I do want to add to the island if possible. I think it would be awesome. Oh, really? Huh? That's funny. She must have been paying really, really good attention. Oh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I appreciate it very much. Um, We are going to assess our fossils. Let's do it. Um, All the fossils, sir. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. Boom. That's actually so much less fossils than I thought. Like... I'm kind of happy about that. I don't I don't want to do too many. Oh, because of the reason? What's the reason? It makes no sense. I'm good. All right, so we're going to head out and um, we're going to start. One of the things we need to keep an eye out for is some panels I'm going to need to make this a reality. So we'll see if we can get our hands on any panels. So we'll check inside our storage and whatnot. But for now, let's go sell off these fossils because I don't want to keep them. Um, I already have my fossil part of my museum completed, so we don't need those. Um... I do also want to see if I can find a sign for my little fall festival area that says fall festival or something to that extent. So we'll see if we can find that in the future because I would love to find something that says that. I think it would be such a cute addition. Oh, that's funny. Dang. Well, I guess she knew better, huh? That's cool. I didn't. Sorry, Chester. I did not. <laughs> All right, let's sell our stuff to him. 
All right. Perfect, perfect. Sold. Oh, wow. Well, who knows? Maybe she just took a wild guess. Sometimes that that's just the right answer in the end. Um, I don't think I need anything at the store here. I know, isn't that the worst sometimes? It, sometimes people just get the better of us and we don't even, it's just so random. All right, let's see. Okay, so um, let's put away whatever else is in our pockets here because we don't need our pockets full on this occasion at least. Oh, well, hopefully she takes mercy. It's always nice when they do. <laughs> All right, and we'll put our mariachi clothing away. I'm probably going to end up selling that. I just wanted it out of her house because it's not cute, in my opinion, for like her, her home decor. It would fit in if her house was more along those themes, but it's not. So we're not going to keep it there. Um, I am going to... Ch oh, what's wrong, Robert? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, Animal Crossing, if she hasn't played it before, it's a really fun game. I definitely recommend it. It's it's so, so fun to play. Oops, I forgot. See, I told y'all, this is like one of my pet peeves. I do this like every single time, so I must have not checked the island that good. <laughs> That's okay. For now, we'll probably just put it away because it's not... Oh, actually, I can flip this uh, scarecrow out now because it's Halloween time. I have it there all the time, but I usually have it flipped so it looks like it's just a pumpkin on a stick because I don't like the concept of it just being there. Um, when it's not Halloween time, it looks it looks kind of goofy. All right, let me just stick this in the storage as well. Um, and then actually, um, after we do that, I'm going to get some stuff out of the storage. Um, I want to plant this gyroid fragment too, if I remember. All right, so let's open up our storage and get out. If we, ha I don't know if I have any panels, so we're gonna have to keep an eye out. So if you guys see me pass by um, some blank panels or simple panels, I, I believe they're called, just let me know um, and I will grab them out. I also have this cute Halloween table. I should grab that out so we can use it somewhere. Um, I'm going to just also, if I see any Halloween stuff, I'm also going to grab that out because it's good to have. Yeah, it's a cute, it's such a cute table. I really enjoy it. Okay. Here's all the simple panels. Heck yeah. I think I have some of them altered to something. So we'll have to see what they are. Um, I can just change them back. I just need to grab some customization kits while I'm in here. Um, I have these mushroom lamps we could take out. Why not? Cause I also not, not, it doesn't have to just be spooky. I also want like fall stuff going on. So if you guys see anything that you think would be a good addition, like feel free to let me know. I'm, I'm willing to hear some stuff out. I can't always go with every suggestion um, just because I, I, I have to keep in mind the aesthetic that I want to keep with it as well. So I am, I am going to take these skeletons out, but I'm going to put them somewhere in my house. So I'm going to leave them in there for now because they're not really bothering anything by being there right now. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Is there anything else good? I have these toxic waste bins. I'll keep those in my storage for now because I may do something with them as well, but we'll, we'll see. We'll come back to it. Um, Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, if you'd like to. Sounds good to me. All right. Um, I don't think there's much more spooky stuff. I think I took a lot of it out. So that's good on me for once because I'm not usually so great at remembering to take all this stuff out. Um, well, that's a cute piggy bank. I didn't even know I had a green one like that. That's adorable. All right. This guy's cute. He, I know he's not Halloween necessarily, but I want to take him out because he's, his colors are Halloween-y. So I, I, I'll add him maybe to the outside of my garden or something like that. He's very adorable. Oh, and look at all these pumpkins I have. I think what I did last year, um, rather than having candy bowls outside of people's houses, I ended up doing pumpkins, which 
I, I guess I, I'd have to debate whether or not um, I would want to, you know, do that instead. But um, for now, we'll keep them in. We'll just keep in mind that we have those there. But yeah, okay. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Nice. Okay, so um, let's... Oh, oopsies. I was going to grab one more thing. I'm sorry, guys, not to keep going back and forth. Get something out. Let's see. I'll do it like this. It's a little easier. Okay, customization kits. I think I probably passed them. Maybe? Maybe I didn't. There you are, I see. Okay, golden. Um, and then we're gonna do ourselves a favor and we're gonna go in here and buy a few more even because I know for a fact I'm going to need some more, so. Hmm. Okay, cool. That sounds really good. I think that honestly, I, I, I think that's going to be very successful. It sounds very good. Good writing is good writing and it shows. Um, I do three at a time because it's just easier. I wish you could buy 10 at a time, but they don't let you do that. Bulk, you know it, boys. We'll just get like a few. I'm not going to go too crazy. All right. All right, let's see how much that gave us because I'm not really sure. Yeah, of course. Oh, there you go. That gave us plenty. Okay. Chester's still in here looking at stuff. What you looking at, buddy? I'll give you a Miss Flamingo. I have like 10 of them. <laughs> All right, Coolio. So let's look around at our items here that we have now. Um, I So the thing that we're going to have to do um, is we're going to have to look inside um, this thing, the custom designs portal. Um, and we're going to see if we can find the Spirit Halloween one because I, oh, I just thought that was such a good idea. Again, like, thank you, Aspen. That was such a good idea. It's just the perfect little thing to add, I think. I don't know exactly where I want to add it, but there are so many blank slates on my island. Like you guys know, um, I've talked about this from the beginning since playing this with you guys. My island um, used to be like overrun with flowers and I had so many things out on my island. And then I just decided like, I'm not really liking how this looks, so we're gonna change it. And I ended up, pretty much scaling the whole island, removing so many things, and now it's a blank slate. Um, so a lot of stuff is open area. So if we have any ideas, um, feel free to let me know. Cause I, you know, I don't know if I'm good at designing, but I, I'm definitely not good at doing the design portal. I, I can't make things the way other people do. I'm not good at it the way they are, but I try my best. <laughs> All right, spirit. Halloween. There we go. Oh, oops, that's too many E's. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's see if we find anything. All right, is there anything else? Okay, so what I think um, they the people ended up doing kind of was they did um, like one panel was like just Spirit Halloween and then the rest were window panels, if I remember correctly. So let's do, I think we're going to do this one because I like this one. So cute. I'm so excited about this. Override it. And then this one. 
we'll figure out a way to make it look good i'm excited spirit halloween is definitely one of my favorite stores so that's why i want to add it to this like i i'm a huge huge halloween fan <laughs> yeah i'm excited i think it'll be cute um we could also take like I, i'm not gonna do it i might come back um but we could take like one of these cool little designed ones and put it like on a small sign near it which might be cute but we'll, we'll see later i'm not gonna get too crazy into it yet so um i'm almost positive um i have a window design already because i did a greenhouse kind of thing so we'll see if i already have that going for me or not i'm not sure it's been a minute since i've actually used the panels for anything all right so i have an idea in my head kind of where i want it but I don't know if we're going to keep it here or if this will even work. But um, I was thinking somewhere over here, maybe. Um, specifically, I was thinking right here. I might have to go in and like edit how it looks, though, because I don't know if the ground is like level enough to support that kind of thing. So let's do some construction and see if we can alter the side of the hill a bit. Okay. Oh, I took our little mask away. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We're gonna have to do cliff construction. So will it let us edit that at all? Maybe not. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe I have to go down below to edit it. That might be it. Yep, that was it. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to build off of it. <laughs> I, you know, honestly, sometimes dad jokes evade me. I think that probably is going to be plenty of room. We'll see, though. Um. Okay, so let's try... Uh, this these ones should be the windows from my um yeah that's exactly what i was thinking from my greenhouse so we'll just see if it works if it doesn't look good we don't have to keep it but i was just thinking like oh this kind of looks like windows of a shop so oh here i need to pull it out a little bit though because it's not pushable from that angle <laughs> okay so let's try that for now and then um, we're going to have to go over to a workbench. And I think I have one in the front here. I should have done that first. I didn't think about it. Um, oh, actually, I need to change my flag really quick. I might, I might take my black roses and use them around the place as well. I think that's a good idea. I don't know yet if I want to move them from the little garden or incorporate them somewhere else. But that's a good idea. I definitely will keep that in mind. Okay, so let me go in and change my little flag really quick because now it's fall. The first day of fall happened, I believe, e either yesterday or today. Y'all would know better, probably. <laughs> um, Let's do island features. Change the island flag. I don't remember exactly who designed this flag. It may say on it. I'm not sure, but somebody else designed it, but it's a seasonal flag. So there's a winter, a fall, and a spring and summer one. So it's really, really cute. So let's do our fall one. Oh my gosh. I know. I, I'm the same way. My eyes are really itchy. My ears are itching me. Like, oh, the nightmare. <laughs> uh, I'm good. Thank you, Isabel, you sweet, sweet girl. Perfect. All right, friends. So we are going to head over to our little workbench and now our flag should be changed. That's so cute. Got our fall flag up and running. I, again, whoever designed that, you did a fantastic job. So good that I went and got it for myself because I liked it so much. All right, and I think our did I take our workbench away or did I, what did I do with it? I thought it was right here. Oh, maybe it's, it might possibly be up by my house. Let me check. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Let's try. 
Yep, I know exactly the feeling. It's terrible. I know exactly, exactly what you mean. All right, here we go. I couldn't remember where it was. All right, so let's customize our panels. Hmm, okay. Simple panel, simple panel. Let's just do these two because it's easy to remember. So, um... Look at all the cool things they already have set up for it. I didn't even realize that. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, let me see about adding this spirit Halloween to it. That is, I, it's cute. It's cute. I have to say. Oh my gosh. I know. <laughs> it's so terrible. Honestly, I already have a bad, um, habit of being a mouth breather at night like I can't I can't keep my mouth shut when I'm sleeping so I'm already there with you okay I don't want to use this panel so hold on just one second we're gonna move that because that's a uh a, a different colored panel than what we're looking for maybe this one let's try this one hopefully this one will be good maybe yeah that works I just don't want different colored um, linings on the panels because I, I don't think that would look very nice. Um, okay. Let's try. Thigh supremacy. <laughs> okay, so... This one first. Please. Okay, let's try putting our other window one. <laughs> Oh, oops. Okay. There we go. Honestly, I know, I don't know if to you guys it looks like a door, but to me it does. So I don't know if that works or not, or if it looks good, but, um, I gotta, I gotta figure out what else we can add to it to make it look more like a storefront. But, um, for now let's move it over a bit. I don't like it exactly where it is. Okay, good. Thank you. I'm glad it. I'm glad it kind of looks like how I was wanting it to. <laughs> okay, pull this out a bit. Push it over. Oh, or go right behind it. Oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get a grip on that. <laughs> And then we'll just push all of them back once we get them all in the place that we want them to be. Oops. Keep doing that. There we go. All right, now we'll just scooch it back. Um, I have to think about if there's a way or, or if something I can add to it to make it look more realistic, but for now I like it. I think it's cute. But we'll, we'll definitely add more to it to make it look more like instead of just like random windows right there, but I think it's, it's cute so far. Or who knows, maybe we'll just find a better place to put it. Like I, I, I can't say either way. I know I know there's definitely probably a better place to put it. But we'll we'll think about it. We'll definitely think about it. All right. So, we're going to go back to our storage and stick some stuff away. And then the one other thing that I need to do is I need to go into my mom's house um and take out some of her Halloween stuff that she said we could have. Um so we'll go do that in just a moment simple panel i'm gonna put this fragment away for now because we'll do it later um taking we're gonna leave the spooky table out and the garden gnome and the lamps okay but we're gonna put the panels away 
Yes, my mom. So me, um, when I lived with my mom, we used to, I let her play on my island. So we, we both had a house on this island. So um, what we'll do is we'll save this for now. And then we'll head over to my mom's house. All right, friends. I'm so excited. It's going to be, it's going to be cute. I'm really excited for all the stuff we, and I think what we might do next is we'll go into my house and add some more um halloween stuff because i i want to add another room we um we'll go in and review the one room that we already did make and i'm really happy about how it turned out it was really really cute um so we're gonna go back and work some more on it I, i'm excited so the one that we did do was like a mad scientist type beat it was really cute so we'll go back in and work some more on on some different rooms i don't know what else we are gonna want to add but we'll find something cute to do so let's go into my mom's character really quick and we are going to go find her halloween stuff yeah some cookies i you know honestly i don't know if they ever added any like seasonal I, like definitely they do have seasonal foods in here but it would be so cute if they had like things like halloween cookies i i know they have like a candy bucket and stuff which is cute but like i wish they had more halloween stuff i halloween's definitely i i don't know if it's my my favorite season i i think it definitely it's contending <laughs> it's got it's got to be one of them but i'm not really sure which one is my favorite i love halloween so halloween and christmas all right let's let this take its sweet time as it does as per usual um oh, and then after we grab stuff from my mom's house we'll bring it back over to my yard and just switch characters again we might have to go through Is isabel's spiel which is okay that's just the usual this game used to be so quick with like the opening sequence but ever since they've been adding more and more new stuff and my mine has so much stuff on it it's it's just been so slow all right let's see that is the nice thing about having somebody else on your island um they let you use your use their stuff as well when they buy seasonal items so thank you mom for that all right hello isabel you're very cute i just don't care about what you're saying all right <laughs> Let's see. All right, so here's my mom's house. She hasn't been played for a while, so that's why her hair looks like that. There we go, back to normal. All right, so she probably has some roaches in her house because I haven't played her in such a long time. So we'll try and smash them if we see them. Yep, there's one, I see it. There we go, I got him. There might be another one somewhere, but who knows? All right, so let's look at her storage. Um, we're going to just go through everything because I think that's an easy way to kind of add uh, stuff. We'll do this hay bed because we can add that somewhere because it's cute. Um, let's see. She has two spooky standing lamps. I don't know exactly what she has. Fire. <laughs> Huh. Oh, and she has a mushroom parasol, so we'll take that. Oh, and here, here's the good stuff. She has some scarecrows. I love these, the spooky Halloween towers. Those are so cute. She has lots of those. Um, another carriage. We already have one up at my house, so maybe we'll put this one up at her house so we can give her some. Has it really? Oh my gosh. All right. Um, I don't know if there's anything else we want to kind of steal. Let's steal all the pumpkins, because why not? I hope I have enough room in my pockets for all this. I don't know if I do. Then there's the... Um, I'm not going to take her Thanksgiving stuff. I might take it at Thanksgiving time, but for now it's okay. We don't need to take it. Um, we'll take the garland and add it to our home. Um, I'm thinking one room uh, that 
that will I, I think one room that we'll do it uh, and just kind of keep it more casual is uh, maybe my smaller room in the back of my house will probably just make it just like cute Halloween theme and then the rest we could do whatever we want I think I think that sounds good to me but like let me know if you guys have ideas otherwise because I'm totally okay with that I think for every haunted house you go to there should be like a calm room somewhere fun to go Hi, Megan, you already visited somebody today. Oh, too much Kingdom Hearts. I, you know, I haven't played Kingdom Hearts before, but I've heard it's a really fun game. All right, we'll take a tour of my mom's house while we're waiting for Megan to want to leave. <laughs> Not to rush her out of there, but you know. <laughs> yeah, literally. Let's see if there's anything else I want to steal from her house. My mom does have a really cute setup going on in her house, so if you guys are ever looking for some ways to use some of these items, this is how she uses hers, and I like it. All right. Yeah, let's see if she has any more Halloween stuff out. I don't think she does, because I don't even actually remember the last time. Bye. You're so cute. All right. So let's head out because the, I don't think there's anything else I want to, because her house is already so cute. So I don't want to like take away anything from it. Yeah. <laughs> she honestly, I think I've told her before that she would, um, she would have fun doing YouTube videos with um, her Animal Crossing because I think people would watch it. She has some cute ideas. All right, let's stick our stuff. We, we could actually just drop it all right here, to be honest with you. Um, not the knife block. I don't know why that's out, but um, drop. Oops, not place. Thank God. <laughs> drop, drop, drop. Okay, let's go right here. All right. So yeah, definitely soon I am going to go through um, my storage and her storage to see if we have any repeat clothing items or things that we don't necessarily want or need anymore. And um, if we find a lot of stuff, I'm definitely going to be doing a giveaway. So if you guys want, definitely keep keep an eye out because we we have an influx of um, DIYs right now. Like I, I only have a few, but I'm sure my mom has collected quite a few at this point. So if you guys have any you want uh, to try and grab, like we'll do a giveaway. I think it would be fun to do it on stream. All right. All right, all right. Perfect. Almost done. We just have a few more to drop. All right. Thank you, Mom, for the items. I appreciate it. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So after we switch back to my character, I am going to take a pretty brief break because I need to go stretch my legs and grab something to drink. But after that, I will be back. Um, so hopefully you guys don't mind sticking around just for a few while I do that. But let's switch back to my character so we don't have to wait as long to get back there. Um, all right, let's switch it back. There we go. I thought I clicked it already. <laughs> all right, golden. All right. Well, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. And I will be back in just a few. We're going to just let that load up in a sec. And then I will be back right after that. I'm excited to play some more of this with you guys. So if any of you guys, um, if, if anybody's watching the VODs and you have any ideas for the next stream, definitely let me know. That's cool too. Um, just comment down below if you're able to. Um, you guys can send me a whisper on Twitch or follow me over on Instagram and you guys can send me direct messages there. So whatever works for you, works for me. All right, friends, I will be back. Um, see you in a few.
right, my friends, welcome back. Thank you so much for your patience. I really appreciate it. Um, we are going to get right back into it. We um, just received all the items from my mom's house um, in the previous minutes before I came back. Um, we got all the stuff that we could find in my mom's house that was Halloween themed. Um, and then we are going to add it to our area. So we'll see where we can put it. Um, I'm going to just pop this up on my big screen so I can see it really good. All right, awesome possum. Let's get into it. Hello, Captain Toons. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. All right, let's get into it. Might take a minute to load as it per, as it does per usual. You guys know how Animal Crossing is if you play it. Takes a fat minute. <sighs> I do like these um, tips that they put down at the bottom, but honestly, it's one of those things that like I I. Uh, I could have used these tips when I first started playing, so I wish it was like not a new thing. <laughs> I wish I wish it was there before, like long before this, but beggars can't be choosers. All right, so let's uh, see what we've done so far. Um, we're gonna fix this somehow, because I do like it. It's just, I feel like it needs something else. Like it, it might need even more dimension behind it because I feel like that makes it look even faker when you can just walk by it like that. So I don't wanna, make it look fake so we'll uh we'll add some stuff behind it soon yeah this is a super relaxing game i i'm definitely a comfort gamer co comfort game kind of person because i just i just like stuff like that so um it's easier for me to get into it but um i i do like action games here and there hi sure Okay, well, it can't be anything else buried in the ground because we've dug up everything, so that's good to know. No, I'm good. Let's get out our shovel. Okay. All right, if you guys see it, let me know. So far, I haven't seen anything. Nothing yet. Um, I'm gonna go over here and see if anything's buried. Sometimes it's like literally so easy to find the thing that they buried, but sometimes it's, it's quite difficult. So we'll see if we find it. This might be it. Yay, we did it. That was easy. Look at that, literally under a minute. Let's get out our ax for our full cosplay here. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hopefully it's something good for once, maybe. Yes. Oh, great. <laughs> okay thank you <laughs> all right so um with that being done and over with um let's go see um right now i'm gonna take a break from like looking at the outside stuff let's go inside the house and see what else we can add to it because i definitely want to work on some more rooms um that's the outside of our haunted house i'm not going to change it i may add like a wreath or something to it but for now i like how it looks like that's just what we're doing for our haunted house so this is the room that we did previously um I don't know if there's anything I want to change or add to it, but for now I like how it looks, so I'm probably not going to add too much, but this is our um, mad scientist room. So I, I'm really into it. I think we did a good job. Um, I'm gonna go slow so you guys can see all the elements we added to it. If you're new here or you don't remember exactly what we did, this is what we did. Got some cool stuff going on. Um, a little blood splatter on the floor never hurt anybody. Well, it must have hurt somebody to get there, but um, we have our mannequin guy, whatever he is. You, we already hung out today, girly. Yeah, in a minute. <laughs> All 
All right, so this is the room that we created. So if you guys have any ideas about things we can add or anything you wanna see in here, definitely feel free to leave a comment or chat it, whatever you wanna do. I know sometimes it's a little nerve wracking to chat on stream. So if you guys are ever nervous, like feel free to like whisper me. I'll definitely get to it after the stream. I just can't get to it during the stream always, but I will try to check. All right, Coolio. So um, I don't know if I want to mess up this room yet. I don't know what I want to do with it, but this is the room I was thinking of making kind of more of a traditional type of Halloween theme. So if you guys are down for that idea, we can kind of start incorporating it. Um, right now it's my plant room or my reading room, whatever you want to call it, office. Um, but we can definitely change it up into something different. So, okay, well, I don't want company over. <laughs> um, but let's see our other, and my other room I think is like a gaming room that I have created. My basement is kind of an apartment type thing. See you later. I feel kind of bad that she like came over and then I'm just like in the other room not talking to her, but I'm busy girly. I got stuff to do. Um, but let's kind of start vacating this room a bit uh, because I, I think this is the next one that I want us to work on. So let's do that. Just start taking things away. I love this room and I... Uh, I had a good time making it, but it's time for some change. All right. It would be cool to add like a haunted like botanical area. I think that would be fun. But for now, maybe we'll do something different. All right. One of my personally one of my favorite horror movies is it um i love that movie the one with the clown um i'm a huge horror movie fan so um i want to incorporate that movie somehow into the home but i don't know what we'll do yet but for now let's make this room kind of a traditional halloween room because i just want it to be something fun like this is the place you can go rest or go like have snacks during like your haunted house whatever you want to call it like your your adventure i guess um i used to yeah i was gonna say i did have a spooky wall somewhere and then i do have one spooky flooring i think i as you guys can tell i don't have like a whole lot of um uh what you call it like uh floorings and walls because i i take long gaps between playing this sometimes so that's why it is what it is all right super cute i love that flooring all right, so let's add, um, I don't know if I actually have a spooky carpet or not. Not that we have to put a carpet, but, oh, it's so cute. Okay, let's add it. Oops. There we go, perfect. Um, so, so cute, I adore that. Um, let's add, what can we add to it? I know there's like, Maybe we could put like the turkey day table just to be like, kind of like, oh, this is like a calming area. Like this is not, not something to get, you know, too torn up about in here. Um, okay, let's see what kind of chairs I got for the situation. Oh, I have two, I have two turkey day chairs. That's it. I thought I had more than that. That's okay. Um, let me see how these look at it. I don't really like that. Um, I don't think it looks very good. So we're not going to put those. We'll probably just put the two turkey day chairs, I guess. I wish there was more, but that's okay. Okay. We'll just add them like this so that there's like a place to sit, but you guys can all, like if somebody walked up to the table, they could also access the items on it. So let's do... I don't know if we took out all the candy bowls. I probably shouldn't have done that if I did, but. Um, oh, we have the spooky table setting. So let's do two of those. Why have them if we're not gonna use them, you know? So cute, I adore that. Um, 
You know, also really quick before I do that, in fact, oh, oops, I guess I can't do the top of the table only. Um, I am going to flip the table because I don't really like how that's sitting. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks a bit better. Super cute. I, I adore that table. All right, so let's add some more things to the table, maybe like a candy bowl, like I was saying. Um, let's see, let's see, where is it? It's always down at the bottom with this stuff. Oops, that is an Easter basket. <laughs> oh, I wish it didn't take us all the way to all the way to the top. I'm like, can you just take me back to where I was looking? <laughs> all right, so let's do a candy bowl. And mm, we'll take a pumpkin out for now. I don't know if we're gonna put it out, but it's so cute. So like, it would be a good addition. So cute. I love the candy bowls. <laughs> I adore that. Um, okay, so let's see what else we can add here. Um, we definitely... Oh, actually, let's go outside really quick and grab up some of the stuff that I stole from my mom's house. Hi, Super Mario Cat. Welcome in. I hope you're doing good. All right, so we're going to go outside and see all the Halloween stuff that we have in the ground and anything we can add to the room to make it a little more, like, cute, spooky. And then um, we'll have that room set up because I just think it would be a good idea to have, like, an area that's, like, if you're going to a haunted house, a place that you can uh, rest at, you know? Oh, that's cool. Oh, well, if you're ever looking for visitors, let me know. I'll come, I'll come and check out your island. All right, so we have some more candy sets. What else did we steal from her? Garlands, that's what I was thinking of. Okay, anything else? Is that it? Um, I know I had like a, not a lantern, but um, I can't think of what it was called, like a trick pumpkin or something. Lots of spooky arches, that's good. Oh, trick lamp, that's it. That's what I was thinking of adding instead of that pumpkin um, in there because I don't know if I want the pumpkin to be there. I'm not really sure yet. But definitely the good thing is we have plenty of room to do like pretty much anything we wanna do. So I'm happy about that. Okay, so let's see. Anything, anything interesting here? All right, so we're going to pick her up, and I don't know if I want to put it on the table or not yet. We'll see. Let's let's see how it looks, because that's that's a big indicator of if I'm going to like it or not. Um, not the garden gnome or the mush lamp, but the trick lamp, yeah. Let me go open it up. It's so cute. I think maybe what I'll do is, um, I, I don't know if I actually have one, um, an antique table, but if I do, I do have like other little tables, I guess I could put it at. Um, let me see how this looks. I'm not like obscenely like happy with that, but let's see. It's so pretty. It's such a pretty little decoration. Um, you know what? Actually, hold on. I don't know if I'll like this either, but let's try this. Scooch this over here. Put the candy bowl up here because like that's just cute. It's like in the corner and you can go grab something from it. Um, and then let's scooch the food plates over here. Okay, and then we'll put the food, or um, not the food, the lantern thingy right there. I think that's really cute, honestly. I don't like the concept of not having a lot of chairs there, but it's kind of like beggars can't be choosers at this point with it. <laughs> um, oh, you know what, actually, 
I don't know if this, oh, these actually are Halloween stools. I think I customized them to be Halloween themed. Those are so cute. I need to add those somewhere. Those are so cute. I don't know if you guys can see them very well, but it has pumpkins and skulls and bats on it. I don't remember what I used those for, but that's really cute. Um, for now, let's add the garlands because I know I have those in my pocket. We'll just add them right across this wall here. It's looking very chaotic, but we like it. That's so cute. Oh my god, it kills me. Oh yeah, that's that's totally okay. That's no big deal. Yeah, trust me, there's no expectations in my stream. Like, you don't need to be here, like, the whole time or anything. Like, I have one friend that comes in and just, like, sometimes he can't stay and he just says hi, and that's totally okay. Like, I, I appreciate any interaction, so thank you guys for being here. Um, What else can we add to the walls? I love that garland. Um, Let me know if that looks good to you guys so far. I just, I like this. It's like a little party room kind of thing. So let's add some more cute stuff to it. Um, I don't know what other cute stuff I have, but we're gonna look through our storage and see. Oh yeah, here's those pumpkin chairs. So we'll add those. I, I think what I wanna do with the pumpkin table is do like an out, something outside with it. So we'll we'll see what we can do. I'm not really sure yet, but we'll find out. Um. Oh, and I, I also have a couple of these trees bounty arches. Um, I, I do have spooky arches somewhere as well. I just don't know where, but we'll, we'll find them. I may already have them out already. I'm not positive. Um, let's see. I don't know if there's more I want to add quite yet, or, or maybe I just have to look through all the stuff I have outside first, but we'll see. Um, well, for now, let's, let's take like a little break on this room and go outside and work on some of the stuff out there. I might lower those, um, garlands really quick. I don't really like how that looks. It's not high, high enough. Or I mean, it's too high rather, <laughs> not high enough. What? All right. Yeah, that, you know what? Let me see. I, I, I can actually do that right now. Let's let's see what kind of paintings we have. I think I have one of the Halloween guy um, from this game. So let's see what we got that way. I do have like, I think a couple spooky-ish paintings somewhere. Yes, I have this guy. We can add his picture. Um... I do. I do like Treasure Islands. They're fun. We'll put that there for now. We might not keep it there exactly, but I, I mm, hold on. Actually, let me let me try this wall and see if I like it better here. Let me see. Boom. I think that's cute. We might not keep it exactly there, but one cool thing about it is um, it glows at night. Or like if the lights are off. I don't know if you guys can tell very well because it's kind of light outside in the room. But this room doesn't have any curtains, unfortunately, to shut it off. But it's cute. Trust me. <laughs> Type in cat. Okay, well, I, I will do that in just a little bit. I'm going to just go outside really quickly and see about the rest of my... Um, Halloween items and where we can add those because I'm not really I'm not really sure where else we can put some stuff so we got to think about some areas we can add it to um candy set lantern let's just start picking things up I don't think I have enough room for like all of the stuff in my pockets but maybe I will who knows can't say either way. Uh, 
All right. I hope you guys are having a really good day today. I thank you so much for joining me. It's been really fun so far. This is such a relaxing game for me as well. So I'm enjoying it just as much as you are if you're having a good time. All right, so we'll come back for the rest of that, but let's see kind of what we have going on here as it is. Um, maybe we'll add a couple of those towers right here. What, like I said, we're gonna do something to find to add some more dimension to this area, but I don't really know what I want to do quite yet. But we'll definitely figure it out. I'm not too pressed about it. Um. All right, add our little pumpkins to the side. I wonder if like maybe pulling it out a tad would add some dimension. Let's try that. I mean, it definitely can't hurt. I don't know what we can do, but we'll definitely think of something. I'm I like I said, truly I'm not I'm not upset about how it's looking so far. It just it needs something and I'm not sure what. Um, standing lamp. Do I have any more? I think I had more of those. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I think I have more towers. I'm just not sure where. Yeah, green one. Cute. There we go. That's so cute. Oh, I love the pumpkins. Okay, so we'll keep it like that for now. Um, let's see. Oh, and so one thing I was going to show you guys, um, I, I, I'm not positive if I, if I actually even still have it, but, um, oh, there's a balloon. Let me see if I can pop it. Oh, I was off. That's okay. There we go. Let's see what's in it. Maybe something fun. Spinning wheel. Okay. Hey. If we don't need it, we could always sell it. But anyway, um, what I was going to show you guys in my phone um, here is we can uh, look at the shirt and clothing designs, all that kind of stuff. Um, these are, I, I didn't personally design these, so I can't take credit for them, but these are supposed to look like candy bowls. They're hats, but they look like candy bowls, and it's so cute so let's go into my house and see if i can find um some stools and stuff to rest these on for my little characters because i think that's another thing i want to do this year is add um more of those outside of my villagers houses so um in fact actually let's go in my little gamer room here and see because I think what I'll do is I might just make stools specifically for this. But before I do that, um, I, I am going to check in my storage and see what I kind of have already. Um, I have these two stools, but I'm going to use them for something different, I think, because they're so cute. But oh, I want to add them somehow. I think what I'll do is I'll go into my storage and make some wooden stools again. And um, I'm not going to put any kind of custom design on them. I just want to make them so let's see what is required to make them yeah this is my little pink gamer room <laughs> i i i don't know if i'm gonna keep it but this is what it looks like right now i i i am a huge fan of pink pink is one of my favorite colors pink and blue all right so let's break in here um, I know this is, for some people, it might seem a little counterintuitive, but I like to, like, look at the thing I'm going to design first and see what it requires because I don't always remember um, what it needs. So it just needs four pieces of wood. So we need, uh, we have 10 villager homes. So let's get enough wood out so that we can make enough for 10. Best song. I love the song. All right, so we need just regular wood. Oh, my pockets are full, dang it. Okay, well, what we'll do is we'll put some of this Halloween stuff away because we'll take it out again when we need it. This is definitely my favorite Animal Crossing song. Do you guys have a favorite that you guys like listening to on the game? Because this one is definitely my like top five it's so it's such a good song okay 
Oh, oops, I need to get out more of wood. I almost forgot. Let's just get out six or 75 because I think that might be enough, but we might need more. Let's see. Okay, we're going to speed through this, y'all. We got this. All right, so that gives us two. All right. All right, so I think we, this is our fourth one now. I should start counting out loud. Okay, we're gonna say five. We just need one more. Oh! Okay, let me count how many I actually did. Maybe I did more than that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Okay, well, we already did 10 then. <laughs> All right, so let's put this little piece of wood away. We don't need that right now. All right, so um, we'll get started on adding these candy bowls to the outside of my villagers' homes because I really, I, I remember doing that um, on probably my first year of playing this. I was like, oh, that sounds like a cute idea. And somebody else had this amazing idea and they were able to like, it, it, it's so nice that you're able to um access other people's designs if they allow you to it's so it's so nice it's my favorite okay so we're gonna add a stool hi eric i wasn't on vacation i was just lazy <laughs> all right so let's go into our phone um, I think Eric deserves the little bat one because it's so cute. All right, so from the front, obviously it looks like a hat, but when you turn it, candy bowl. So cute, I'm obsessed. Okay, so we're gonna pull it off to the side a little bit. And there we go. So that's gonna be how it is on each of the villagers' homes, um, but we're gonna vary them because I don't want them all to be the bat one. Um, this little clump of homes is easy because I can just do all four of the variations here. I just have to remember not to put any that are too similar together because I don't like how that looks. Um, okay, let's place one of our stools here. All right, and then we're going to go into our phone. Um, let's make sure we're standing right next to it. Okay, going into our phone and we are going to do, um, let's do this candy bowl. All right, and y'all know the drill. Looks like a hat. Boom. Candy wool. I know, me too. That would make it look so cute. I, I remember another, um, you guys can see it in my phone, actually. Um, another thing that I had going for a while that I never ended up changing out of here was um, I did a pizza stand. And these were my hats that looked like pizzas. But you could kind of still tell it was a hat, which was annoying. But it is what it is. It's okay. All right, so I am going to put the other pumpkin one right here. So let's add that wooden stool. And oh, I keep doing that on accident instead of going into my phone. 
All right, let's do this pumpkin one. All right, let's shimmy it back a little bit. That one looks a little bit less like candy, but I still like it. <laughs> okay, I guess that's as close as it's gonna get. Um, let me shift it back a little bit more towards the door. There we go. Yeah, because that's how they all are pretty much. Is Eric's pretty much at the door? Or do I need to shift his as well? There we go. And is yours as far as it can go? Yeah, okay. That's how I'm going to do it on all the houses. Um, I just like, I like to keep it a little bit symmetrical that way. Okay, so let's add this um, cute one here, this little graveyard one. Yes, literally, it's it's such a different world now in this game. I remember um, one of the things that I used to see that was really popular um, a couple years ago was people would like make shopping carts. And um, I don't even remember exactly how they used it, how they did it. But now there's actual shopping carts in the game, which is so funny, like how far we've come with that. Um, but it, it was just such a different world <laughs> with Animal Crossing back in the day. Let's see. Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember exactly how they did it because it was such a funny concept to me how they actually did the shopping carts, but I can't even remember. You know, that's what I hear a lot of people saying. Like, it, it, they they enjoy, like, the new aspects that were added, but there's still stuff that they wish they could have. Heck yeah, dude. All right, let's add to this home right here. My beach houses. Okay, um, I think I'm going to just kind of start and go down the line like this. Because that's an easy way for me not to make the mistake of putting some too close together. Like two, two designs that are similar. Because this, I have two pumpkin ones, as you guys saw. But um, if I go down the line, it's easy not to get them too mixed up. All right, and let's add our little hat here. He gets the purple bat. So cute. Okay. All right, and another stool. And she get or she or he i think this is buck's house actually so he gets this one there we go and well i think i think it's pushed up as far as it can go so that's already perfect um i think it's as back as far as it can go as well yep all right that's golden um this this design that i have on the ground right now i don't know if i'm going to keep this i don't know if anybody's actually been wondering about that but i'm gonna say it anyway um i don't know if i'm going to keep this or if i like it very much right now but so far i like it i think i just need to add some stuff around it um and then it'll be a lot cuter but Oh, that, that's sad. To, you know, honestly, like, I, I think you probably have heard me say it before, but I haven't um, played the old Animal Crossing games. Unfortunately, I just didn't. I, I It's not that I wasn't into them. It's just I, I was more into like Mario games and stuff like that. So I didn't have access to games like that when I was younger. Um, but I do now, obviously, and <laughs> now I play it. But um, I, I hear a lot of people feeling the same way as you so i'm so i'm sorry that it's like disappointing that's always it's still such a fun game I, and i know you probably feel the same way it's a fun game it's just like it could be better if they added the things that the fans actually wanted all right so let's go to the other side of our beach where the rest of our homes are um and i don't know if anybody actually is wondering but the reason that a lot of my homes are on the beach is because i am in the middle of remodeling my island so that's why it is what it is with these houses okay let's add it place 
Oh, oopsies. I didn't mean to do that. All right. Phil's house. I should probably check and see how my friends and their houses are feeling in, in case they're not feeling good. Oh, okay. Let me see. I'm going to add... I think maybe we'll go the opposite way this time. Yeah, unfortunately, my mods are not um, in my uh, streams a lot because they're very busy, but um, I will try typing it. All right, and then we just have one more. Excuse me, my sweet prince. Oh, you're pushing me. Okay, um, there's our stool. Okay, and... We'll do this one, because this one is so cute. Yeah, I love that. Honestly, Bob is my favorite villager personally. I enjoy him so much. I think he's such a cutie. All right, let me see. There you go. Is that coming up how you wanted it? Hopefully. Okay, perfect. All right, let me pop this back on my... Oops, not on that screen. There we go. All right, golden. Okay, yeah, I'm glad it's coming up good. All right. So um, we got that done, friends. I think it looks really cute. Um, I, I don't know exactly what I want to do with my black roses yet. Um, I know... Uh, we had another friend in here suggesting that we um, take them and put them around the island. So we may do that. Um, but for now, I kind of I like how they look for now. But like I said, we there's always opportunity for change um, with this. Um, for now, with this area, this is our little fall festival. So I was thinking of making a sign to put near it, but I don't really know if I will or not. Um, it's, it's super cute how it is, in my opinion. I really enjoy how it looks. So maybe we'll just add some pumpkins in here and there if we can fit them. Um, let's see what we have. Maybe not him, but... Let's see, do I have anything? Not an arch, but a... Yeah, like a scarecrow. Yeah, that's cute. I think that just adds like an element of like Halloween stuff. <laughs> Halloween vibes. Um, I don't know if I have any more of those spooky towers. Um, let me try this one. Okay, maybe not that. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, that's awesome. So um, do, you, do you want all all of my, uh, well, not that I have many viewers right now, but any viewers or anybody who sees that on my VOD, that's what um, Super Mario Cat has on their island. So that's really awesome. Thanks, thanks for sharing that information with us. That's really cool. Very, very cool. Do you do a lot of um, treasure islands and stuff like that? Because that's so fun. Um, Let me see. Oh, yes, buddy. Oh, you wanted to do it right now. Dang, okay. I'll try and just leave so that he'll stop, but we'll see. I don't know if he will or not. Okay, let's see. It's not much of a surprise if I know you're coming, huh, Book? Oh, that's really cool. That sounds awesome, Super Mario Cat. That's very cool. All right. Okay, 
Um, so let's try and look at our other room that we have. Oh, was that on previous games? That sounds so cute. I'm trying to think of other movies and stuff that we can do with our um, villagers. Thanks. Thanks for coming. I rarely have them follow me into a room. That's kind of surprising that he followed me. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, that sounds like such a fun concept. It's sad that they don't have that anymore. All right, friends. Well, really briefly, I am going to take another um, break. I need to go grab me something to drink because I'm pretty thirsty. So I am going to take just a brief break. If you guys don't mind sticking around for me, I'll be back in just a few. Um, thank you guys for being here. Thank you, Super Mario Cat. Thanks to all you guys. I appreciate it. And anybody watching the VODs, welcome in again. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, and I'll see you guys in just a few. I'll be right back. All right, my friends, welcome back. Thanks for your patience. I really appreciate it. Um, let's get right back into it. I'm super excited. This game is, oh, it's, it's just such a fun game to play. It really is. It's one of one of my favorites that I've ever played. I uh, I didn't want this game at first um, because I had never, like you guys heard me say a few minutes ago, I had never played um, an Animal Crossing game before, so I didn't really necessarily want it. Um, but I, uh, somebody special to me got it for me. And uh, needless to say, I was obsessed. <laughs> it's, it's such a fun game. I doubt I have anybody who hasn't played it before in here, but if any of you guys haven't played it before, like just know this is, this is definitely a good game to try out. It's, it's a good comfort game. Not to make it so quiet in here. Thank you. 
Ooh, okay. All right, so this room, I'm not really entirely sure what I want to do with it yet. I was thinking something along the lines of like, maybe, hmm, we'll have to kind of look at our uh, what we have um, in our wallpapers and stuff for inspiration, because that kind of can lead to some good themes. So let's see, I like you guys know, I don't have that many wallpapers and stuff because I'm not huge on buying from uh, Sahara because she doesn't always have good stuff, but um I know I did this one a long time ago when I did my it themed room so I'm a little bit tempted to do it again but I don't know if I'll do that um I do have lots of pirate stuff so I could do like a pirate themed room I'm not really sure yet though what I want to do um if I were to do a pirate themed room uh I think I do have a treasure floor that's so cute <laughs> that is really cute I have to say um let's see future tech I also did it wasn't necessarily like a ring themed room but like I had um uh like a Oh, I, I guess you could say it's a ring themed room, but it was mostly about the well scene in the ring. Um, if you guys have ever seen that movie, I, I'm almost positive I used this wallpaper, I think, or maybe even a different one, but I think I used this one and I used, uh, the, this flooring, I'm pretty sure. And then I put a well in the middle of the ground and I put a picture on the wall to make it look like the little girl was crawling out of the well. Um... So that was something cool that we've done in the past. But if you guys have any ideas about like what we can add to these rooms, like definitely like hit my line. Like let me let me know because I am I am down to clown with some new ideas. Um, let's see. Okay, okay. Um, I think what I'll do is uh I kind of want to go um work on like a couple of my villagers' houses before time runs out so um maybe we'll start with megan's house because hers was the one we've seen so recently that i was not a fan of how it was looking so um let's maybe start with megan's house oh oops i didn't mean to do that oh okay let's talk to nook the crook see what he has to say Um, let's talk homes. Let's do a residence home. Yup. Let's do Megan. She's so cute. Not just because she has the same name as me, but I love her. She's definitely one of the ones. She was one of, not my first villagers, but like I've had her for a very long time. And I've not switched her out because I enjoy her so much. She's such a sweet girl. Like, I just really love her. Um, let's do, let's do the exterior first. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm going to keep the shape pretty much the same, but I am going to alter the outside of the homes. Um, I just want to make them Halloween-y. I wish there was one that was more bright orange. 
they're all kind of dull orange is the hard part, but that's okay. I'm not opposed to that. Yeah, that's Halloween-y. That works. Yes. Now, um... Okay, so I'm not positive if I really want to go all out and do the all of the insides of their homes Halloween-like, but I definitely want to redesign this because it looks bad. Oh, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I appreciate it. Um, so we're going to just kind of scale this house completely because I am not a fan of how it's looking right now. I love Megan. Y'all just saw. I love her so much. But her house looks like garbage. So let's change it. And then there's Nook the Crook right there. Um, so this is the stuff she already had in her house, essentially. Um, and don't get me wrong. There are elements like I... I this is stupid, but for me, I don't like to take away things that they enjoy. Like, so there are elements I am going to add back into the home, but I want to redesign it so that it fits her personality better because she deserves something cute. Like she's a cute, sweet girl. So she deserves something cute and sweet. So let's do, um, I was thinking this, uh, pink wall maybe but I also like this or not that one this one um let's try it I don't know let's try it for now that might be too much pink but we could also also <laughs> rather also add a carpet um what does this one look like I like this one but like it's it, it only fits in certain places like the color scheme of it sometimes it's just not not the look these um, Hawaiian rugs are so pretty. Nah, that's too much pink. We might change the floor for something different. I do like these, um, I think they're called cute wood floorings. Did I pass it already? Perhaps. Yes, I did. Okay. I do like these. Um, I will admit they don't, they definitely don't go with every style of home uh but let's see if this is something we can incorporate honestly i think that kind of looks cute um let me know if you guys have any different ideas for megan's home or like if you have an idea for something that would look better but for now i kind of like that um let's see about what she had in her house already so um she had just the simple bed but she definitely I, I think we have something that would suit her a bit better um what I think I'll do now that I'm looking at it is what I think sorry I'm stuttering a lot I think what I'm gonna do is I'll add just like small Halloween elements but wholly I am going to make it a home that matches their personality or what I think they would like so we'll worry about that for now. This bed is so cute, but I think it might be like too babyish for her. Let me see how that one looks. Honestly, that's really cute. I can't lie. Um, okay. Well, let's add that for now. And Let's see, what else can we add for her? I try, I, like I said, I'm trying to go off of stuff that she kind of already had, but um, we could add like a, a little partition wall maybe to give her some space for like a little bathroom. Um, let's see, how much space are we thinking though is the question. Oh, that's like right on the window. We don't need that. Okay, so let's add her little bathroom elements here because she already had bathroom stuff in her house, so she must really enjoy that being incorporated. Um, 
How does a pink tub look? Is it too too much pink or is it just enough? Now, I don't think that's enough room for a bathroom, to be honest, but um, huh, okay, let's try like this, maybe. Hmm, it's hard when you're working with such a tiny area. I think that's the difficult part. So maybe instead of, uh, there we go, instead of putting up that uh, partition wall, maybe we'll just do like fabric partitions possibly. That might look cute. I think I do like it in this corner like this. And then I want to add um, the little sh faucet head to it. So let's do that um, because I just think that's cute and it, it, it's like multifunctional. It's like, oh, I can take a shower or I could do this, take a bath. Um, let's see. There we go. We love functionality. Um, and let's put her little towel rack back up because she did have that already. There we go. Okay, what color? That's kind of pretty. No, but she already kind of has like a silver accent from that. Um, yeah, that matches well. I think that looks pretty cute. Um, let me try adding this to the other wall though, because that might not be very good above the bath the way it is. So let's try adding it right here. Okay, and then we could add like a little toilet thing situation. <laughs> um, let's see what kind of toilets we have though, because I don't want to add something ago to her cute room. Let's see. I know you can make this pink. I don't want to like hyper focus on like pink, but like if it works, it works, you know. Put it just right by the bathtub. Actually, you know what maybe we'll do? Sorry, not to keep changing my mind about this. Um, there we go. Maybe we'll put this just right above the toilet. That kind of reminds me of a hotel, not in a bad way. Um, and then she had a simple sink. I don't know what colors we have to pick from. Let me see if that looks cute or not. I don't hate it. I just wish it wasn't like so blue. Okay, let me, I, I wanna see if I can add a partition wall now and make it look a little bit more organic that way to this side. Yeah, honestly, that doesn't look terrible, I have to say. Um, maybe, I, I hate to say it, but maybe I won't add a sink to the bathroom. I know that's kind of like, girl, like you need a sink in a bathroom, but uh, if I if I can't make it look good, I don't know if I want it. <sighs> hard choice, hard choice to make. Okay, well, regardless, let's go and find a partition that's pretty to add to her bathroom. Um, Let's see what designs we have in mind for this. Ooh, that one's so, I would have that in my house. That's so gorgeous. Maybe this. That's so cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, let me see if I flip it. I like that a little bit better. I think that's gorgeous. Like that's a good way to add some division to a room that frankly did not have much. So I think that looks really cute. Let me know if you have any ideas about how, if it should look different or not. Cause I'm, like I said before, I'm open to any suggestions you guys have, like feel free. Um, okay, let's see. Um, I think I wanna give her, honestly, I'm, I'm rethinking this bed. I think it's not, I want her to kind of have like a soft, like 
elegance, if that makes sense. I know that sounds so dramatic, but like I kind of do want that to be honest with you. So let's see what kind of beds we have as options here because she deserves something cute in my opinion. What kind of simple bed designs are there? So we could do like a white wood situation. Oh, that's true. We could do like a pattern of our own choosing. Let's see. Let me look at how that looks from afar. That's that's truly not horrendous. I have to say I'm not I'm not turned off by that idea. Let me look at the other designs that we could do for the blanket. Um Okay. That's like too much pink. That's kind of cute too. Um Ooh, let me try this. Maybe I like this better. Surprisingly, I don't like that better. I thought I would. That's okay. This was kind of cute too, but I don't think that'll fly very well. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Are, these must be... That looks new. I don't think I've seen that design before. Those are really pretty. What about this one? Oh, that's really cute. Because Megan does like her music. She sings a lot. So I think that might actually be cute. It's a very subtle design. So let's try that for now. Um, what else from her old home can we incorporate is the question. Um, she did have this situation right here. One of these wood end tables, which would be super cute. Like I'm okay with adding that but let's change it to like a white wood and let's add let's see what else she had in here um gee that is a hard choice I think we'll do something a little bit cuter for her because she deserves something cute so let's add maybe either a light or a clock is what I'm thinking because those are good things to have next to the bed so um let me see what color lamp we can do. No, I don't like that. That's a little cheesy for our girl here. Um, oh, maybe some like mom's candles because she's cute. She seems like a homemade girl. These flower ones are pretty. That's so cute. Oh, I'm obsessed. I love that. Okay, so let's add some functions to the wall here because we need something nice and calming for Megan because she deserves something like that. Um, I do like these flowers. I just don't know. Maybe that would be like something cute to put in the bathroom. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I like it. Maybe not. I'm going to leave it for a minute and see if I like it because sometimes it takes me a second to adjust to the idea of it. Um, I love adding these above beds. I don't think I'm going to do it in this situation. Oh, it's so cute though. I do love that. Um, let's add an embroidery, but let's change the color. No, actually, maybe that one does work nicely for Megan's personality. Um, and then let's add a few pictures of her little friends because she has some friends on this island. Chester is one I see her talking to a lot. So let's put a picture of Chester. And let's also put a picture of, oh, these are posters. I don't want the posters. Who else can we put a picture of? I know Norma is her friend too. I don't know if I have a picture of Norma though. Oh yeah, there you are. Oops, that's not Norma, that's Tipper. <laughs> okay, let's put Chester's a little bit lower because I like asymmetry. Sometimes I require symmetry, sometimes asymmetry is the way to go.
There we go. And yeah, let's do a colorful frame for him. So cute. All right, so let me know how you're liking it so far, guys, because so far I actually really like it. I think what I'm going to do on this side is add a little kitchen area for her. Um, or perhaps I'll do it right here, maybe. Let's do a simple kitchen because she, it looked like she had some like cooking elements going on here. So yeah, a few. Um, so we'll try and add those back in if we can. Um, I gotta say, I do love the simple stove um, thingy that you can add this thing. It's very cute, this compact kitchen, I guess that's what you call it. Um, so we could add this. Or, let me see, what does this have in it? Let me try this. Hmm, okay. Good to know. What if I like flipped it against that wall though? I don't hate it, but I don't know if it works for what I want. I think it's too bulky. Like I said, truly, I don't hate it, but it's just not, not really what I was looking for. Um, I wish, I will tell you, the one thing that I'm a little sad about is that they don't have a kitchen sink to match this kind of aesthetic that they have going on with the compact kitchen because that would be so cute if they did but they don't let me see how this looks in her house because that kind of seems like something cute she would have hmm nah too big And then we can add, I would add this, but I hate how that, it does kind of almost match, but it's just like, that's too sloppy looking. I don't want to lean into that because she's not sloppy. Okay, and what else can we add here for her? I would do this sink, but I just don't like how that looks. I don't think it looks good. Let me try just one more thing here. Hmm. Hard choice, to be honest. Hard choice to make. There's a little gnat in my face, sorry. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I think we'll do this. Um, just this little compact kitchen. And then what I think I want to add maybe next to it here, because this is it. I have to think of it almost like it's like a one bedroom, like a one. It's not even a bedroom. It's just like an apartment. Like it's not has no bedrooms. It's just all one room. So let's think about things we can add here. I was thinking maybe a standing lamp would look cute. Maybe we'll put the lamp in the corner instead though, and then put this right here. Or put this over here and then have like a little chair and table situation. 
So she definitely seems to be more of a fan of like the simple furniture, which is okay because we can absolutely accommodate that. Um, so let's see about adding a simple chair and tables because if she likes it, she likes it. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think it might be kind of like cute to like utilize the area in front of her bed. So maybe we'll put just like a tiny ch uh, table there so that it's like, oh, it's like a work table where you could eat at it. Um, maybe no tablecloth. And then flip this maybe. Yeah, okay. Um, that or we put it over here. Then add this right here. Then add another chair right here. So that you can still get around it, but you have a place to sit and eat and all the fun stuff. Um, let me try adding, I don't want to have like a kitchen space too close to her room because like that's icky, but um, let me see, maybe I can just put like a little counter there because I know I have a counter somewhere here. No, that looks like garbage. <laughs> what about like a little one next to it? Nah, it needs to be like a table or something or like a prep counter. If y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so let's go back up to the table section. Um, I'm thinking something like, uh, definitely not a low table. <laughs> I don't think that would look very good. Maybe another one of these tables just to like have a prep area for your food. And then maybe instead of this one, we can add like a cuter one over here just because then we're still incorporating stuff that she wants. Maybe we could have a round table. Oh, I wish there was white wood. I would have done it if there was white. Um, let's try this one. Um, I don't know if I like that. It's cute. I just don't know if I like it. Um... So many hard choices. <laughs> Let me try this instead. Um, you know what, actually, maybe I'll just put this over here to match the kitchen a little bit better and then keep this here. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, so let's add a pan to the stove because I love that. It makes it look so much more homey in my opinion um, when you do that. Let's go back up to the food section. And let's add a pan. She looks like a pasta kind of girl. I say that because I am a pasta kind of girl. Um, and then we're going to add, I, I am debating between this and something else, but I think this would be cute because it's like little cooking tools to add, like, because she cooks. Um, and then something that she already had in her house that I want to add back because I think it's so cute is the sugar crepe. 
because she already had it. So why don't we just keep it there for her? Um, and then let's add just a few more things to the walls to make it look a little more like a place that somebody lives. Um, so she had this already on the wall. I don't know if that's something that we're going to want to incorporate, but let's try it. Oops, not that high though. Nah, okay. It do if it doesn't fit, that's okay. Let's do, maybe we could do this iron wall rack. Let's just put it like, hmm, I don't know if I like that. Let me try it above the stove. I kind of like it almost in a way because it looks like it's a part of it, but it's like, it's a little too close. Like it's touching it too much. There we go. I'm not opposed to that. And then I think I want to add some, like a knife block thing to the wall. Um, Let's see. Where is that thing? There it is. Um, I like this thing. I think it really kind of makes a kitchen look a little bit more complete when you add it. I know that's stupid logic, but for me, it works. So um, let's add, what else can we add to this house? I actually do like that thing above the bathtub. I think I am going to keep it. I know I was a little iffy about it before, but I changed my mind and it's okay to change your mind. Um, what else did she have on the wall? Um... Honestly, it doesn't look like she really did have a lot of stuff on the wall at all. Just a few things. Um, so let's add some more things for her. Um, I'm thinking this clock is cute, but let's see how it looks when it's actually up there. Yeah, I don't hate that. Um, and then let's add another cute thing to the wall here. Um... Maybe this pretty picture. Yeah, that's cute. And then let's see. Oh, maybe we could add um that, whatchamacallit, that pan rack on the side here. I don't know if it's like going to be too much because may maybe it will be and we shouldn't add it, but let me see. Yeah, honestly, I think that's too congested at that point if we do that. So let's not make it too crazy. Um, we can always add, you guys know my go-to. Um, I love to add light switches to the walls to make it look more like a real room. So let's do a white one for her. Make it at her level that she can actually do something. Um, and then let's add... Let's see what's something cute we can add. And Megan does like a lot of like fishing and all that kind of stuff. Well, they all do. I know you guys know um, that the villagers do that. So maybe I'll add something like that. Or. Oh, I could add this thingy. I love these. Let's do a pink one. Oops, I just wanted one, not both. <laughs> Okay, that's cute. Yeah, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna go too crazy on the walls because she doesn't need anything too, too crazy. Um, for now, let's just keep it simple like this. I think that's actually really cute. Um, the one thing, you know what? Actually, I like it. I don't think I'm gonna do anything different to it. Um, let me know how you guys think about it. I think it's kind of cute. I think it works. All done. Heck yeah, so it should be done tomorrow. So um, I'll go see if it's done. And then the next time we play, we'll come check it out if she's home at some point. All right. Golden. All right, my friends. Well, um, 
for now, I am going to call it a day on the stream. Um, it was really fun talking to you guys today. And thank you for the new follower. I appreciate you being here. If you're still here, thanks for being here. Um, I had a really good time designing all these cool things with you guys and doing some of our Halloween stuff. So if you enjoyed it, I enjoyed it too. I had a really good time. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys have a really good rest of your day. And um, I will be back next week for our stream. Um, one of the new updates I'm sure you guys saw on my Be Right Back screen is that my schedule updated a little bit again. Um, on Thursdays, we are going to be playing until dawn. So we're no longer doing Animal Crossing on Thursdays. We're switching that to Wednesdays. So it will be um, uh, Luigi's Mansion on Mondays. It will be uh, Spirit Fair Tuesdays, Animal Crossing Wednesdays, and until dawn on Thursdays. So if you guys uh, like that new schedule, let me know over on Instagram if it works good for you. I'm so happy to hear that. Um, anyway, thank you guys for being here again. Go ahead, give me a follow on all of my socials. I would appreciate it so much. And I will see you guys again really soon. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you.